Like, that's like, like, so like, who knows what they would have done to him in that 57 years that they held him captive in a fucking cage for yeah. being an Indian. Crazy. You know, it's like... <laughs> So, like, imagine, you know, like, like, this is the government that, like, is in, like, in charge right now of us. Mm-hmm. So, if they're willing to kidnap and, like, incarcerate someone who's indigenous to the area, which now includes many people who are born and raised in Canada since then, including right. white people, black people, Chinese, and every other denomination you could think of. Exactly. There's a lot of them that are, like, second or third generation Canadians. So who's to say that, like these people would then be considered somewhat indigenous, even though they're not like an indigenous culture? That's what indigenous they're, means, they're, right? They're not an indigenous culture, but they are from here mm-hmm. now. Kind of thing, right? Yep. Like they're now from here because they're born and raised here several generations. So exactly. if they're like so, like at that point, you know, like that willingness to kidnap people is now expanded to multiple races of people. Yep. You know, like not just like whether they're not just like Aboriginal or.